Today, I will tell you how to pick a vent hood for your kitchen. There weren't any videos when I was picking one out, so I think this video may be useful. Here's what you need to pay attention to when choosing a ventilator. Pay attention to the volume of air measured in cubic meters per hour, M3 slash H, that the vent hood can suck out. Mine has a capacity of 450 cubic meters per hour, usually for a kitchen of about 12 square meters with a height of 2.3 to 2.5 meters, you'll need a vent hood with about 242 to 324 cubic meters per hour. This is based on the standard that in a kitchen with a working stove, the air should circulate and recycle about 12 times per hour. My vent hood is from an Italian company, Zertel. It costs $150 and has two ventilators. Another thing I would like to add is that a 450 cubic meter per hour capacity is based on if the vent hood weren't connected to a pipe and just recycled the air indoors. This is how every vent capacity is calculated. All of the parameters that you see assume that the ventilator doesn't have any resistance and that it will suck air at this top speed, which is very noisy by the way. This is why you need to make a hole in the wall that goes out onto the street. I connected it to the ventilator system in my house. The vent hood still works. This hood also has lighting. Not bad. I also like for you to hear its noise level. A comfortable noise level for the human ear is around 40 decibels. Anything below 55 decibels is acceptable. Here's how speed one sounds. Can you hear it? I'll turn the light off so you can see better. Here is speed two. Speed three. Speed three is loud. We rarely use it and keep the vent at speeds one or two, which is plenty. Well, that's probably all I wanted to say about ventilation hoods. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.